someone be like okay, and he said i don't usually like raise my voice but i'm so upset i've given up on love like i've literally given up i've, I've given up my head i thought this was a perfect guy for me he was absolutely he was a dream come true he was absolutely incredible so handsome so beautiful good looking this is why physical is not it this is why physical is definitely not it i i was blinded i was literally so blinded whatever he is right now in the world i hope he's doing incredible i hope he's doing absolutely fantastic i hope he's just doing well basically i hope he's doing well but what type of guy i mean if you want to text if you want to break up, text a girl. Can you at least do it while you guys are in the same environment? He broke, he was, I think he was planning, he broke up text with me when he went back home, like when he went back to his city. I remember after that happened, I was shaking uncontrollably on the bus. Uncontrollably on the bus. My heart jumped so fast when I received that message. Um, I'm crying because it's honestly... I literally, honestly, it was it was bad. Um, yeah, he he said that, and I remember that was the worst, worst, worst night of my life. Like that was the worst time of my life. That was the worst day of my life. Like I view you guys as my friends. Whoever is watching this on the other end of the screen, you are my friend. You really are my friend. I view you as my friend, and this is kind of like a therapeutic moment for me, telling you all my private, all my personal stuff. I really view you as my friend, and thank you so much for listening. Like wow, Stone called Stone messaged me. I wonder what it is. I opened the message from Stone after. A long time after a few months and um, I was shaking when he sent me that so this is this is a, this is an honest this is a truth story this is 100% truth this is my life and this is 100% real I would never in a million years lie to you this is 100% facts it's me it's my life it's literally I'm telling you the truth I'm 100% telling you the truth Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you guys are back. Welcome back. I'm so happy you guys are back. Um, today we're going to be doing something quite different and um, you'll see this on my channel quite often now. Um, so basically, uh, today we're going to be doing a story time. Yay! No, I love story time so, so, so much. Every time I'm, I'm on YouTube, I just love story times and I love... Because my life is just like crazy and today story time is really 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 close to my heart and um, it's an extremely close story time and it's really close to me it's really personal to me and of course because i view you as my friend i want to share this experience with you because um yeah um yeah because this story time was absolutely insane um I, I i hope i just don't cry well i just hope i just don't cry and um, i really hope i don't cry like because it was just so, it, it, it was a really, really bad experience and it was a horrible, horrible, horrible day. Um, it was a really, really bad day for me and I still can't believe it happened to me. And honestly, I really, I hope this doesn't happen to anyone else because it was one of, one of the worst things of my life, basically. So yeah, um, I hope I don't cry. Oh my gosh, if you guys can see, I have tears, I've got tears in my eyes. Um, I hope I don't cry, um, if I do then hey it's life, you know, people cry, people laugh, it's just people basically. Um, yeah, so, cool, um, please do subscribe, please do like, um, stuff. <clears throat> so basically, I was talking to this guy, uh, so basically, let me get to you guys, so basically, talking was dating is of course different, talking basically means you like getting to know them. You like sorry, I'm sorry. The talking was like being your boyfriend are two completely different things. Like, um, being your boyfriend is like being your boyfriend. But um, with me, it was like this guy was this guy was um, you know, just a guy I was talking to. We just like talking, hanging out. It, it was a good time. It was all calm. It was all fun. It was all chill. It was all good. Um, let's call this guy Stone. Let's call him Stone. Because his heart is really made up of stone. I, I don't want to be shady. I don't, I don't want to be anything like that. But it is what it is. And hey. I mean, you guys can be the judge at the end. 
So basically, let's call this guy Stone. I was talking to Stone, I thought Stone was really cute. Um, yeah, Stone, Stone was cute, he was, he was good. But unfortunately, the thing with cute guys is, or the thing with Stone was, he was a very good guy. He was physically, he was really, really good looking, but his personality was zero. Now that I'm looking at her back then, I was blind. I was just like, oh my gosh, she's so good looking in her back. You know, all the girls were like, ah, oh, like stone, uh, stone, stone. Yeah, so um, Stone was just that guy. Like he was always like getting girls' attention. He was always just like a dream come true, basically. He was just like that guy. He was so good looking in the face. He was so, so, he was, he was gorgeous. I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. He was in the face when you look at him. He's just gorgeous. He's so 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 good looking. Woo! Like till this day, I'm just like he he he, he was fine. He was good looking, but unfortunately, what's the point of good looks when you can't even have a good heart? Uh, camera, focus on me. Focus on me. A little bit Ariana Grande reference. But focus on me. What's going on? Hey, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, he was just that guy. He was good looking. You know, he was just like the center of attention whenever he walks in the room. All eyes on him. He was that guy. You know what I mean? Like that guy, one of those guys. He was he was good looking. He was good looking. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. I, I can appreciate a good looking person when I see one, and he was he was good looking. Um, so yeah, basically. Um, so I like. I used to see him a lot um, during my uni years. Uh, I used to see him a lot. Um, oh yeah, this was this is like on campus. This is all this all my story times mostly. I get them from university, so this is like um, on on on, cap, on on campus thing. Um, and um, this happened while you know university. And um, so I we were all in the same hall. Like we were all in the same hall. Well, we were all in the same hall basically. And I always like used to see him around, and we always were like, you know, because obviously you know, we all lived in the same hall basically. So I used to see him around, and you know, I'm pretty sure he saw me a couple of times as well. But you know, he was in a dress. I don't know. I don't know, right? So yeah, we used to see each other a lot in the halls, but and for but you know, never like you know, just eye contact, and that's it. Like awkward eye contact, two minute eye contact, maybe a little bit of like a nod here and there, like hey, like you know, when you walk past him, it's like hey, like that. So. Just a hey, maybe sometimes, hey, and just you go, you do your thing, they do their thing. So it was just like that. It was never like a conversation, nothing like that. So at a party, um, so during like my uni years, I was a party girl, like, and I still am, but nah, not anymore. I've just grown out of the whole thing, party thing. But back in the day, I was, I was like grinding, you know, grinding, <laughs> no, 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 grinding and twerking. No, I, I can't twerk, I can't twerk at all. Uh, I tried though, but I'm really, really bad at twerking. Shout out to all the girls who do twerk. You guys do your thing. You guys are amazing and love you all, right? <laughs> I can't. But no, honestly, girl, like jokes aside, um, seriously, um, I, I was, I liked to party basically. At least, yeah. In my, in my university, so basically over here in the UK, what happens is like we have halls and it's like floors basically. I'm pretty sure it's like everywhere, like for every guys are in India and in America. Japan, wherever you guys are from, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. But um, I'm pretty sure it's like basically in over here, it's kind of like um, you get halls, so it's like flat one, flat A, flat B, flat C, flat D. So I was in, let's say I was in flat A. So my flat is a top flat, and then our flat, I hope this is making sense. In my flat, they were like, um, how can I explain it? In my flat, they were like, um, fifth, okay, fine, they're like, five other people with me so yeah there were like five other people or there were like seven other people with me in my particular flat so in my flat there were like five six people with me there were quite more there were about 15 people with me if i'm gonna be, if i'm gonna be on i am on i'm always honest with you but um yeah there were about 15 people in my flat uh, which is a lot like especially because i do struggle with anxiety as well and it, it was just like a lot for me basically like you guys like my anxiety level is bad like i really can't be um like i really can't you know like it, it's it's not good basically so um i so but it was what it was you know i mean i i had a good time it wasn't that bad but yeah it was still kind of like oh my god that's funny. so there were 15 people in my flat and my kitchen was huge like my kitchen was big 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 like big ben it was huge it was so big it was really 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 big um it was huge uh yeah it was really big and um all the parties, everything were like inside my flat, um, my kitchen, all my parties, all like all the, just, just imagine how big that 
kitchen would be to fill all the people in the hall. Like it was a big kitchen, it was a huge kitchen. Just because I think in my flat there were like 15 people and in flat B, flat C, flat D, there were like normal, like six, seven, eight people, maybe nine, but not definitely not 15 people. And um, so basically, yeah, so basically that's what happened and and um all my other parties used to happen over there. I remember I was really, really good friends with this guy. Let's call this guy, because he's also he's also important to the story. Let's call him. Um, let's call this guy. What should we call this guy? Let's call him. Um, nah. Let's call him Smart Pants. All right. Nah, nah. That's too. That's too weird. Let's call him. What should we call him? Ah, this is so like. I don't know, like naming people on, like immediately on story time is so difficult. Let's call him. Oh man, this is stressful. What should we call him, you guys? Ah, let's call him. Oh man. All right, let's call him Science. All right, perfect. Let's call him Science. No, no, no. L let's call him A Star. Let's call him A Star. So basically, A Star and me, we were in the same flat. Like we used to share the same kitchen, same bathroom, same toilets. So we were like really, really good friends. Me and A Star. And he was friends with Stone. <laughs> Does it make sense now? He, no, 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 no he, he wasn't friends. He was friends, but he. So basically, how Stone and uh, what, what was his name? Oh man, why did I forget? They like immediately A Star. So basically, A Star and Stone um, <clears throat> were friends. No, so they were not friends. So they were basically um, they were in the same. Uh, like they, they were classmates, they were classmates, they both took the same module in, in university for example if they were both taking oh man this is getting so oh alright okay for example if they were taking um, for example if they were taking biology just for example so um, A Star took biology and um, Stone took biology as well so this is how they know each other and they were all in the same hall if that makes sense I, I, think, I think I'm making sense I think I'm making sense oh, I hope I do, I hope I do. And yeah, so this is how they both knew each other. So I now was really good friends with A Star. So can, can, can you guys see the connection? The connection building up. Stone is friends with A Star, and I am friends with Stone. Sorry, no, I'm, I'm not. So I don't know Stone yet. So I'm friends with A Star, and I'm friends with A Star, and Stone is friends with A Star. So A Star is the person. A Star is the one who should be blamed for this number. No, no, A Star is an amazing person. I love him so, 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 so much. He knows who he is and I love him. I love him so much. He's an incredible, incredible, incredible person. And so basically that's what happened. Um, and during university, okay, um, I don't want to get too graphic, but um, during university, A Star was really struggling. Like he was not doing good at all. Um, me mental health was basically struggling. And I'm just, that, I'm, just that, I'm just that type of person that I can't see my friends upset. I can't see my friends struggle. And I'm always, always, always going to be there for you um, if you're struggling, you know. I don't know if that's a female instinct. I don't know, sorry. I don't know if that's a human instinct because as a human, you know, you just don't want anyone else to struggle. I'm pretty sure it's like a human thing, um, not just like a female. For males are incredible as well. Oh, don't, you know. But um, I just can't, like I can't. And he was really, really, we were like really close to each other. So he used to tell me almost every, everything basically. And he was telling me that he was struggling. He was like, and I always used to check up on him. I used to call him because I felt really, really, you know, as a friend, that's just what I did as, you know. As a friend, you know, I just wanted to like make sure he's doing all right, he's doing good. Cause he was really, really struggling. Um, and so basically this one time, I, so Friday nights, Friday nights was the night, like all the time on Friday nights, we used to go all out, we all used to party like crazy, like just animals, we used to party, 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 and it, I mean the whole hall, in a hall there were, there were like um, 25 so 200 students in my hall and all of them used to come to my kitchen like most of them like not all not all not because not all of them but like most of them like 50 or like 100 but we had like a lot a lot a lot of people in my um, and it was all friday night so this one friday night i saw stone and um, and so this was like a party happening in my kitchen in my floors so in my kitchen so remember you guys i'm in floor a basically so my floor is floor a so floor A, floor B, floor C, floor D, and um, Stone is in floor D. So just as that, me and A star are in floor A, 
and um, um, uh, Stone is in floor D. Just, uh, just, just hold on a little bit more because a new character is coming in and this girl, this girl, alright? So basically, you people have done me wrong, man. Really. People have done me wrong. Uh, so this is this is a, this is an honest story. This is a truth story. This is 100% truth. This is my life, and this is 100% real. I would never in a million years lie to you. This is 100% facts. It's me. It's my life. It's literally. I'm telling you the truth. I'm 100% telling you the truth. Um. So basically, sorry, I got a little emotional there. <laughs> um. So yeah. So basically, um, you know, um. So there was a there was a party happening, there were a lot of people, it was all going really good. And in this particular party I saw Stone. And remember, Stone is that guy, like he's good looking, all eyes on him, he's smart, he's cute, you know, it's like he's that guy basically. So um, and I saw a flat sorry, store. I store, I I store. I saw a star um as well and they were like chatting up, they were talking because you know, because they were classmates and because of that, you know, they, they knew each other, sort of, they knew each other. So I thought this was a good opportunity for me to come through and just say hi. Because I mean obviously like I always like, you know, like he was that guy basically. So I just wanted to like was curious to see like what he's about, what he's like in real life and how is he basically re in real life. I mean like not in real life, like how how is he like if you like talk to him and like as a friend, like how is he? So I went up to A Star and Stone and I'm gonna be honest, my heart was pumping. Like I was scared because this is like the guy, like this is like Stone. Like Stone is like the guy, gorgeous, handsome. Everybody like it's, he's like that guy. He's kind of like a celebrity in a way. He's like that guy basically. So like you know, I was like, I was like hi. I was like super nervous. I was like, for example, this is uh, this is Star and this is Stone. I was looking at Star. I was like hi Star. Looking all cute. So you just still can see me. Come on, ladies. We, we we've all done that. We've all done that. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. We've all done that. Like my 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 ladies know. We've all done that. Come on. Don't don't back out now. So basically, I was looking here, I was like, hey, hey, is that, you know, so Stone can look at me. But Stone is tall, so Stone was like 6'3". Oh man, <laughs> he, was, he was pretty tall, he was like 6'4", 6'3", he could, he, could, he could be a basketball player, like he was tall, like, so you know, one more like adding to the list, uh, you know, mm. He, he was like 6'4", six, 6'3", six, he was like tall. And it's funny because he told me that he was 6'4", he's 6'3", you know, and I was like, uh, alright, you know, uh, alright. I, I'm still not impressed though. Loki, I was dying inside, like, I was just like, ah, but, uh, like, outside I was just like, yeah, whatever, I, it's fine if you're 6'3", 6'4", whatever, like, not a big deal, girls, not, not a big deal, ladies. I was just like, yeah, you know, whatever. Oh, this is cool, I'm, I'm gonna talk like this now. So basically, um, he was. So basically, he and Stone were like talking, and I just was like, "Hi!" And then uh, I was like, "Hi!" And then he introduced himself. He was like, "Hi, my name is um, Stone." And I was like, "Hi, Stone. How are you?" And it was, it was, it was honestly, I still can't believe it because the first time I met Stone, he was such a nice guy. Like he was so lovely. He was so sweet. I, just, I just honestly like I still can't believe what happened of this day to us. But um, to him. I mean, yeah, to us, to us, I can't, I can't. So basically, um, uh, Stone and I, Stone was talking to me the whole entire night, and I was talking to him back because, you know, the energy needs to be mutual, you know, the energy needs to be mutual. So it was like, hi, and he was hi, and it was all good. We were talking all night. We, we were dancing a little bit because it was a party. We were dancing together. He was a little bit um, intoxicated, like he was drunk. So maybe that's why he was being nicer to me. Um, that Maybe that, that, that might have been a reason, but... Um, I was just like, yeah, hey, what's going on? And the next day, he texted me when he woke up. When um, I mean, he got so basically, he lived like three stories below us, so it was all good. So it was like, it was all good. And then the next morning, um, he texted me and he's like, uh, had a nice night, like so, had a nice time with you, and can't wait to see you again. Nothing, nothing happened, like nothing, like intimate, nothing, like nothing like that. It was just like he partied in my kitchen, we talked a lot, and he just went, you know, to his place, his room, and nothing happened basically. Um, I'm being honest with you, 100% like nothing happened like that, but um, it was still like the chemistry was there, it was all good. So he texted me that, how oh, nice to see you, I can't wait to see you again, and it was going very nice. And um, so the next, so, so we next, the next week we met again at, um, at the same location, same time, you know, at um, the, the, you know, the 
kitchen basically with all the parties college parties i think college parties usually happen in kitchens if i'm not wrong like college university like that usually happens in kitchens or am i just crazy um but yeah it was in at the kitchen basically and this time um my okay let, let's call so basically i met him it was nice me stone and him it was all good all three of us were like perfect together like we were all just so 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 like we were all having a good time it was so nice it was so lovely all three of us and then this girl let's call this girl backstabber no let, no 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 i'm gonna get the more attention this let's gonna call let's call her for the record all of my reaction videos are copyrighted all of them oh it's so annoying Hopefully, um, I'll do something about that, but you're just putting that in there. Um, YouTuber, I love you, YouTube. I love you so, so, so much, YouTube, but what's going on? <laughs> but uh, I, love, I love YouTube. I'll make a whole video about why I love YouTube. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm rambling why I'm rambling so much. So basically, um, this girl, she was my friend. Like, I would, I would consider her a good friend. So this girl was a really, really good friend, and I used to share mostly everything with her. Let's call this girl... Let's call her back. All right, so back was my really good friend, and um, yeah, she was a really, really good friend, and I used to share everything with her. So I told her that I'm talking, or I like this guy Stone. She was like, "Oh, that's good," and um, it was it was all right from there, nothing. But um, the next Friday, when we meet, when we all met, she was kind of all over him. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was quite uncomfortable. Um, I was really uncomfortable because she was like, like, so they were like kind of intoxicated and they were drunk. So they were like getting too close to each other and she was going on to him, which is fine, but you know, like, severe sisterhood, severe sisterhood. But she was intoxicated, so it's kind of like, alright, but it's still like, sis, come on, come on, a little respect would be good, you know. A little respect would be good, just a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. And so she was all over him after I told her that stone that back that I like stone. Oh another a side note, a side note. Stone so this is a very, very important thing in the story. Stone and Stone and Back, my friend Back, and the guy I'm talking to Stone, who was really good friends with A Star. I hope this is all making sense, you guys. If it's not just just then just forward back a little bit and just you know but I'm stone back with flatmates so stone and back they were living together like for that me and a star we were flatmates stone and back were flatmates if that makes sense so stone and back were flatmates they share the same kitchen they share the same bathroom and stone and back were both in block a and i'm in block d or was i in block d like like for example if i was in block a they were in block D. So if me and A star were block A, B, C, D. So there were three stories below us. So they were, they were block um, D. So yeah, they were block D. And for that moment, I should have known that nah, like something is wrong, definitely. But then it was funny because he, he kept on coming back to me. Like he kept on coming back to me every time like uh, back was like talking to him a lot, back was like whatever, like back was like all over him. He kept on coming back to me, which I found like was like, you know, and obviously I wasn't gonna be rude, like, like go to back. I was, I was just like, you know, like, hey, you know. So, um, yeah, it was like that basically, and it happened quite a few times uh, on multiple occasions. Um, and this one time, what happened was it was so basically. Now we're getting to the main story. We're getting to the main story. Um, back. So basically, me and Stone, we, me and Stone, we were like getting quite serious. Like me and Stone, we were like getting like i was getting a lot of attention i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was getting like ample of like, ample attention from all i was getting attention from like like the entire hall just because like stone was like that guy like everybody knew him he was super popular until they knew a whole celebrity like a university celebrity like he was really really popular and everybody liked him so um he was really i was getting attention people would be like oh my gosh that's her the stone's girl and girlfriend and i'm just like hey I have my own name too, but alright, you know, call me Stone's girlfriend. I was not Stone's girlfriend, just to clear this, I was, I was just, he was, guy, he was a guy I was talking to for a while. But obviously I liked him quite a lot, but I was not his girlfriend in any way. And I'm pretty sure he didn't like, consider me a girlfriend, otherwise he wouldn't have done what he did to me. Let's continue, shall we? Mm -hmm. The tea. 
So basically, um, like, do you guys like my velvet, this cute little velvet thing that I'm wearing? Ooh, I really, really like it. It's making me really comfy and the cute little thing in the back. The cute little um, plant at the back, you know, so I want to be really bougie for you guys. No, no, I just really want to say, you know, just step it up for you guys, basically. Um, I really like changing my backgrounds a lot, you know, it's just nice to change your backgrounds often. It's just like a nice vibe, you know. Because I personally get bored of like the same background all the time. So maybe five videos or so doesn't then bye. Again, so different backgrounds, so that's just me. Um, but yeah, so back to the story. So basically, um, me, this one time, me and Stone, we were like chilling, basically. Oh yeah, so this, so this is when the incident happened. This was like really, really close to, um, so this was close to Christmas. And so on Christmas, all of us, we all had to leave and we had to go back to our home to celebrate Christmas with our parents. So over here, it was like me, Stone, we're chilling. So basically, I, I swear to God, you guys, I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I made handmade cards to Stone saying, thank you so much for making me smile. <laughs> Man, why did I do all that? Why did I do all that? What was the point of all that? Oh. <laughs> this always happens to me! Oh my god! This always happens to me. My phone always... Can someone make a cup of it? Always happens to me. But yeah, I made him handmade cards saying Thank you so much for making me smile. I swear upon my soul, I made him cards, Christmas cards, because he was going to he was going home. And the funny thing was, I told, I told, um, what was the name? I told back, a backstab at the back. I told back about this basically. And uh, me, I made from the kindness of my heart. I made stone um, Christmas cards, saying thank you so much for making me smile. You know, you're amazing, you're lovely, thank you so much for being in my life. All this, all these incredible, like, I, I wrote, I swear upon my soul, I didn't, I'm not making this up. Like, I made him cards, handmade cards from my heart to that guy. And I also brought him chocolates. I brought him chocolates, Christmas chocolates, because Christmas was coming up. So I didn't, I, I just wanted to be nice to him. So I just didn't want to do, I just wanted to do something nice to this guy. From the kindness of my heart, I swear upon my soul, I made them chop. I wrote handmade, handmade cards. That thank you so much for being in my life. Thank you so much for. Maybe I'm just too nice to people. I'm just way too nice to people. Maybe that's that's the thing. I made them handmade cards. Thank you so much for being in my life. Thank you so much for making me smile. And then I also gave him chocolates. Um, and I remember this particular day when I gave him chocolates. I could just sense the energy, and I could just sense the look on his face and he was just so like i don't know he he was acting really weird that day and that was also the day when i told um like he, he was just acting really bizarre for some reason i don't know he was just acting like when i gave him that christmas the christmas and you know what's the funniest thing i